In this video, I'm going to be discussing the quotient property of logarithms. It's a way to rewrite logarithms. And the quotient property says this. If I have a logarithm base A of u divided by v, whatever u and v are, they can be variables, they can be constants, it doesn't matter, I can rewrite it like this. Two separate logarithms, both of base A. So that number doesn't change. Whatever this value is, we're going to have the same value here. But instead of writing it as one logarithm with a division problem, I break it up into two separate logarithms, and there's a subtraction sign in between them. Whatever's on the bottom of the fraction, if it's on the bottom of the fraction, there's a subtraction sign in front of it. The same rule goes, it applies to natural logarithms as well. Notice that a natural logarithm member is just a log with base e, the common log with a base e. So whatever, the rule still applies. An example problem, a typical thing you might see in a textbook is going to say something like, write this in terms of log, natural log of 2 and natural log of 3. And so maybe they give you the natural log of 2 thirds. And I see that I have a 2 on top and a 3 on bottom, which means that I can rewrite this as the natural log of 2 minus the natural log of 3. There we go. Similar problem might be something like this, natural log of 2 27th. And so I would have to know first, how could I use 2s and 3s only, because this is what I'm using, right? How could I only use 2s and 3s to get 2 27s? Well, I see the 2 on top, so that's going to be easy enough. But the 27, I might have to find another way, right? Well, it turns out that 27 is equal to 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9. You didn't get my hand out of the way. 3 times 3 is 9, times another 3 is 27, right? 3 cubed. And so I can rewrite this, if I wanted to, as 2 over 3 times 3 times 3. Now those 3's are all on the bottom of the fraction, which means if I wanted to, I could do this. I could say that is the natural log of 2 minus the natural log of 3 minus, again, another natural log of 3 minus another natural log of 3. Three threes on the bottom, right? And then if I wanted to, I can combine these. I see I have three of them. So I really have natural log of 2 minus 3 natural log of 3's. And that would be the simplest way to answer it. Now once again, if you watch the, pro the, the product property video, you saw that, hey, you know what, there's probably a pattern here. We do, I do know that there is a way to get from here to here quickly without going through this middle step. So this is a longer way, but hey, you know what, it works. If you want to know the shortcut, then go watch the video about the power property, which is coming up next.